my Alan. Hi, my name is Shahril. We are from Mazda 6GH Group. So today we are here at EX Auto in Cheras. And today's project is uh, we're going to install uh, BBK and uh, install BC Racing Adjustable and some UR bars. So let's check it out. So here are the bars, we have uh, four pieces. It's a uh, second stage auto racing bars. You are, as you know, it's local made. It's very sturdy. So we're gonna install right underneath the car, at the front and at the back. Okay, so boss today we're in, going to install uh, BBK refurbished Brembo F50 models and uh, reason being is for better braking and more safety purpose uh, during uh, high speed driving not for racing but it's just for safety purpose main reason Alright so this is uh, my BBK it's a F50 Brembo, as Alan said. It's uh, painted in lime green. Uh, F50. Uh, the disc is uh, J-hook type. It's a better grip. This I choose this for uh, one, one. One of it is the, the design. I like. I like the design. The size of the rotor is 355 mm. So we have the brackets installed and the brake hose. Okay. So here we have the steel braided hose. Is a set from this BBK and uh, we're going to bleed out all the brake oils and change to a new one. Uh, we use a dot, dot 4 is it? Okay. Dot 4, yeah. So we're going to use this to change our brake fluids. Dot 4, maybe one, how many bottles? One liter plus. Oh really? I don't think the whole car is one liter plus. Okay, so this is a BC Racing V1 model for Mazda 6GH. And it comes with the um, option to adjust soft, hard, and also high low of the from the body shift. So it is slightly much better than the stock and or, or the original uh, shock absorber because uh, it gives us the option to adjust on the driver's preference whether how soft or how hard the, the uh, absorber can take to adjust. So it, it gives, and with this option, it gives the drivers much more. Um, confident and also um, stability during uh, cornering, especially uh, during driving experience. So this one is to adjust the yeah, soft part. Uh -huh. You just twist it. No need to open. Did you the hear the click? Yeah. yeah. So how do you know? Like, uh, is there a low to high? Yeah. Soft part. So now I'm turning to the more softer side. Oh. Ah, there. Tight already. So when you first spin right, you have to slowly, ah, then when, once it's loose, ah, then okay already. That is first click. Ah. Oh, I see. Ah, then you second, soft. five, So this six, thing can adjust when it's on the car already. Ten. I mean, you, I can just basically open the hood and adjust it. Yeah. Ah. I adjust the soft part. Hard is very hard. It's for the rear end also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. 13. 13. 13. Right. Right. If you want harder, maybe you can try 15. That is the max. So far, I tested. 15 max is very bumpy. Bumpy. Uh, but when cornering, very short. <laughs> make, it, make it 14 uh. 14 14 is okay? 14 Three point punya apa rear and rear bar, rear bar. 
Okay, so here we have the uh, rear rotor. Basically, it's the same as the front. It's a J-hook uh, design. Uh, the size is slightly smaller than the front. It's 330mm. It's uh, a two-piece, actually. So the benefit of it is to uh, absorb heat or to disperse. release, disperse the heat even better. Also, avoiding the heat concentrating on the whole single centerpiece. Yep. Because here we have all the gap. Yeah. So this is a, a single piece. I mean, it's two piece, but it's a single, single rotor disc, and uh, it's not a floating type. It's just a normal. One. Okay, so here at DXE Auto, they do. Uh, they have many kinds of uh, uh, BBK. Among others are Brembo. They have Nashin. They have AT Racing. So this is one of the Brembo four pots. Basically, uh, this original Brembo from Italy. You can see. They refurbish this, so they take out all uh, this part, yeah, and uh, they change to new pistons, refurbish it, repaint it, so it looks almost brand new, almost. And this is not a sticker. This is uh, basically imprinted on here. It's very nice and solid. How many K cut go is here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is obviously serviceable. And uh, they give you with the brake pads. This is the rear part. All right. Okay, so earlier, before I even uh, booked this uh, bamboo brake kit. Uh, they measured it, so it would be okay on this 18-inch rim, 8JJ. But then when they installed the, the Brembo um, helipers, um, uh, the, the fitment is not, it's not accurate. I mean, um, it will hit this, this inside of the rim. So what they did is, uh, they recommended to put a 5mm spacer. So which in turns, because my offset, rim offset is 45. So then after the spacer, now we have uh, some space here. As you can see here. Hey, thank you to DX, DX Auto Charest for uh, building my car today. Got a big project, uh, stall three stuff. So I'm, I'm really grateful for it and very satisfied with the service. Uh, I want to say shout out to Mazda Drive Group as well so for taking this uh, the time to come here and review. Uh, so stay tuned to um, the next review, I mean the review of my car after this. Uh, I will pay you more and do subscribe to Mazda Drive Group for more updates. And I would like to say thank you to my friend here, Alan, who's come all the way to support me. You're welcome, welcome. So hopefully your car will be much more fine-tuned and more comfortable and nice to drive. Yeah, right. Thanks, man. You're welcome.